Hello, YouTubers, Minecrafters, and peoples of the Intertubes, and welcome to our newest series, Modded Minecraft, coming to you from the Kerpowcraft Kingdom server. Well, we actually logged into this server on the last live stream last Sunday. We came at a spawn point and then we just started heading south because we planned on trying to find ourselves a nice big desert that we could empty to. We have plans to build our Kapowcraft kingdom underneath the ocean, which we started to do over there. But we started heading south trying to find ourselves a nice big desert, could not find a big desert, couldn't find a desert at all. But eventually we did find this coastline here. And we saw that it was right next to this rather unique looking ocean monument type building and we said to ourselves okay this looks like a good place to start up so this is where we went ahead and built and started to build started to burn down some some sand to get our glass that we needed for our little base here so we just go ahead and swim on down and this is the building we started next to I've never seen this building before, so I'm not quite sure what it's about, but we'll get a chance to explore this later. So we built a nice little starting area. We did get our nether portal up and running, along with a lava floor in the bottom. Lava floor is a suggestion by one of our friends. We have another tunnel coming off this way we plan on building it out of. We have yet another tunnel coming off of this direction that we plan on building out of. Not quite sure what to build on either side yet, but one thing we do plan on doing is coming out the tunnel on the other side of this nether portal. We're going to come out this way, and this is where we're going to build the main part of our base. It's going to be a nice, larger, bigger dome as compared to these smaller ones. And that bigger dome is going to be where the main part of our false Atlantis city is going to be. Now I say false Atlantis or faux Atlantis. Atlantis is going to be our city name or building our base name here. I say faux Atlantis because it's not going to be quite the real Atlantis because those people have long been gone and we are just rebuilding, taking over, using their base. So this will be a nice little addition for us. Now we are brand, I am brand new to modded Minecraft, never played modded Minecraft before, so this is going to be a completely new experience all the way around. I've seen a couple people play it, but I've never done it myself. But we're at a point where we have to try to get a whole lot more sand, and we got to build ourselves a nice little storage system down there. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish off using this particular shovel real quick. I'm just going to go right into the side here. I didn't think there was much left in that shovel. That was pretty much perfect. Now we're trying to keep this uh, sugarcane going because we're going to need it for making books in our enchanting area, which is going to be part of the inside of the main city. The main city part is going to house everything that we need to use. These two built parts right here, these two uh, modules, these are strictly entrances into the city of Philantis. This right here is a nice little water trap that we had catching us some fish. Not very efficient though, I don't think I'm going to reuse that again. We're just going to tear that apart and be rid of it. But in the meantime, we're going to take all the sand that we have, and we're going to start go ahead and melting this down. And I need to go off and collect a whole lot of resources. I plan on setting up our nether tunnel going all the way to spawn point. We are quite a few, and by few, I mean very many, blocks away from spawn. We don't want to get in anybody's way, especially since we were looking to pretty much destroy a desert. Which unfortunately we couldn't find. So we're instead we're destroying the beach line. So we don't want to disturb what anybody else is doing. But let me go ahead and get to work on this. And we'll be back in a little bit. Alright, so here we are in the nether. We've started on our portal a little bit here. We're going to try to improve it. I want to make sure that this wand does what I want it to do. And now we want to extend this out. 
There we go. We want to do a three wide as far as we can go. Now we are quite a ways away from the uh, from the spawn point network, spawn point hub, or what's what I'm looking for? The spawn point portal. We are quite a bit away from the spawn point portal. So much away that it's going to take us a little bit of time to get there. And I'm seeing if I can't do this somehow. Wanted to try to avoid breaking blocks as much as possible, but we're going to have to do it. So we had a little bit of fun while we uh, were away. The we ended up uh, helping one someone else on the server by the name of Once a Blue Moon help them clear out a what I believe is a bramble wood uh, woodland mansion. We came across it on our travels since we somehow spawned a guardian at our base that ended up killing us. So we had to go from spawn point all the way back to our base. Apparently when your um, bed is completely submerged in water, it won't let you respawn there, which I was not aware of. So not only do I have to solve that, I got we have to, uh, had to walk all the way back to our base, which took quite a bit of time. You can see we did quite a bit of work on the tunnel here a little bit, but we still have very much more to go yet. Especially since the main part that we're going to come to is quite a bit over this lava lake. So at the moment we're just expanding this out. I'll try to make it a little bit safer. We're using up this uh, iron wand here. That's unfortunate, but we'll take it. It's all right. As long as we're working, progressing towards what we need to do, it's all good. So we'll go back and build a couple more of these, and we'll come back out here. We're using up a whole lot of the uh, cobblestone in our inventory. We just need to get out there. Get out there and do our part to get back to the community. Because we are way far away from everybody else. So I'm going to continue to work on this and actually now I'm going to go back and get another iron wand. But in the meantime, why don't you enjoy this little excerpt from when we helped our Newfound friend on the server, Once a Blue Moon. So we're here with Once a Blue Moon. We came across this lovely woodland mansion out here, and we're going to take it on and see what we can do inside. I'm willing to bet I'm going to die at least once because we found this place on the way back to trying to get my body back. And, well, you can see I don't have much armor on, and... Don't have much in the way of weapons and whatnot. But we're going to see what we can do. And we're off. Let's see what we can do to this place. Ooh, Illager, right there out of front. Good job, pups. All right, good job, pups. Good job taking that villager out. All right, let's get inside this place. Let's see what we got. Well, well there's some bookcases here. Ain't no big deal. Let's move on a little bit. Oh, we hear another villager right around the corner there. All right, let's see what we got. Yep, there he is. Come on, pups. Oh, uh, where'd the pups go? I don't know. But okay, let's keep this going on. Let's keep moving. That kind of sucks. Man, they are everywhere. Why are there so many witches in here? I don't understand that. Oh, my poor little pups, though. My poor little pups are getting it. 
I had to pick those guys up before coming in here. I picked, grabbed them with a couple of bones just because we were coming in here. Now, what is that button for? Oh, a secret room. Well, that's interesting. I wonder what's down here. Hmm. All right, let's go find out. What what do we have? And this is a little messed up. Is, is this a torture chamber? I think the Illagers have a torture chamber. Okay. Oh, I'll definitely take that armor. I need that right now. That's for certain. And, well, these are some interesting books. Rose Gold, Managing Your Life. Beware the Infection. Okay, I don't know what these are. I'll take a look at these when I get back to base. And we'll find out, but... In the meantime, I think we're pretty much done down here. I think it's time to head back up. All right. Yeah, let's go. Let's get back upstairs. Let's see what we can find. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? A skeleton skull. Well, that's interesting. Not quite sure what I can do with that yet, but we'll find something. Now, what does this button do? Oh, it turns the lights on and off. Okay. That ain't nothing. All right, yep, let's go. All right, I hope I got away. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Oh, man. All right, let's do it again. Try it again. Here we go. Getting back in there. Gotta rush, gotta rush, gotta rush. I don't know what stuff of mine, what stuff of once of blue moons I got, but we gotta we gotta get back up there and hopefully get away from this guy. Oh, spiders, come on, not right now. I don't have time for this right now. Gotta get up there and try to get more stuff. Let them keep hitting each other. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, here's a bunch of stuff. Okay, uh, oh, man, Vex is, no, okay, let's see if we can get this guy, come here, come here, dude, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, all right, got him, all right, death number four, let's go, back inside, back inside, yep, here he comes after me, let's see if I can get through this maze of cobwebs, all right, let's see what we can do, guys, caught there, yep, that's right, just stick there, buddy, Good job. Oh, God, another one right behind us. Man, come on. All right. What, what's with all the zombies in there? They're kung fu fighting. All right, let's get in there. Let's get these guys. All right, I guess I'll take out the zombies since I can't get in there to help him. No, oh, ow, 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 hey, get out of here, dude. All right, let's finish with these guys. Wait, there he is. Oh, oh, and he's a Vex summoner, too. Yep, there we go. All right, let's get him. The stupid Vexes. Can't stand the Vexes. All right, yeah, let's get out of here. Let's let the Vexus despawn so we don't have to deal with them. Oh, of course. Uh, yep, there we go. Death number five or six or something. Do I want a gift? Sure, I'll always take a gift. You like gifts? A witch's hat. Ooh. And there you go. We are done taking this place over. So now, once a blue moon is going to transform this place into his base, so he's going to have a nice place here. I hope that my video isn't going to accidentally spoil something or interrupt his if he has anything. But there we go. That's that. Well, 
would you looky here at what we are able to find? A nether fortress right along our path back to spawn point from our nether portal. I am so extremely happy to see that. You have no idea because that means there's going to be a bounding box there. Rather ominous sound coming there. There's going to be a bounding box for the nether fortress around that area. And that's where we're going to start setting up our basic wither skeleton farm. I'm talking about the real basic one. But it'll be quite okay nonetheless. So that is one happy sight to see. Well, it appears our friend Once Blue Moon has already done a little bit of help in creating our little nether tunnel here. After we had finished taking care of that, uh, that woodland mansion, he came back to my base to use my nether tunnel to get back. And to take and to uh, have some obsidian so you can build one of his own over there. Always glad to help out a fellow uh, person on the server and be able to get them to get back to spawn point and whatnot. Hope he made it there safely. Apparently we're taking the same path that he already created here, so we'll find out just how far he got. But we have to go a total of about 1,700 blocks in this direction. You can see we're already down. We were at 1,700. We're down to 600 more to go, roughly. 650 or so. I want to make the entire path here at least three wide to begin with right now. We're eventually going to expand it to five. We're going to put down some packed ice and use a boat to travel across faster. So while I continue to work on this, why don't we... Why don't you... Oops, not what I wanted to do. Okay, while I continue to work on this, we will be right back once we're done. And so there we go. We are now back at spawn from the nether. And with that skeleton there, we're gonna, just gonna go ahead and vanish right back in because I don't have any armor on me and not prepared to take on anything like that. A bee grub. Interesting. So it's convenient that the um, spawn portal comes out here at another fortress. Oh, I see another portal over there. It's just some buddies. But we BMG and Tolbert Tunnel. There we go. Oh, it's BMG. All right. Now we know who that is. So we just go ahead and travel on down this way. And we've done some fortifications to it. In the spots where there's no walls, it is now three wide instead of just one wide. Like this here. Our friend went ahead and put up some wood where he did. Seems as if he ran out of cobblestone, moved on to stone, ran out of that, moved on to wood, ran out of that, moved on to uh, another rack for some of it. But we went ahead and we tried to fortify it up as best as we can. We're going to come back through here. And like I said, we're going to end up putting down packed uh, ice in a boat system. So we can just use the boat to travel down this way extremely quickly. So our little uh, escapade here has turned out to be quite an adventure. We did get to see quite a bit out here. A lot of open lava. But that's quite okay, because we saw that little bit of a nether fortress back here by where we uh, were coming across. Which I'm just going to go take another quick look at that real on our way back here. As soon as I'm able to come across it. Pigmen everywhere. We are going to set up a pigmen killing area. It's going to make it nice and convenient and easy to get a whole lot of gold. That's uh, one thing we do want a lot of is gold. We want a lot of gold. We want a lot of iron. Personally, I'm running a little low on iron. 
So I'm going to have to go and find some more of that pretty shortly here. Gold we can find down here. There is gold source, uh, gold ore blocks in the nether at this um, mob pack that we have going on. But let's see how soon we can get back to our little nether fortress that our little friends BMG stumbled upon. If we can get back there anytime soon, I hope it's soon. We should be getting somewhat close, I would think. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll be right back when we get there. All right, here we go. Now we're back at the uh, another fortress here where I came by a little bit ago. There was three wither skeletons on there, so I had to go all the way back to home and grab some supplies, some armor, and and my uh, weapons here. Well, I'm disappointed to see that they're not there now, but we're going to go ahead and bridge over this way. We're going to go down there and take a look at what is inside that little bit of another fortress. And we're going to mark the bounding box around there for it. Because we're going to use that. We're going to use that to make a basic wither skeleton farm. And I mean basic, I mean real basic. But that'll be just fine for me, possibly for BMG as well. Get a basic wither skeleton farm around that bounding box. There we go, there's that. Oh, they're just regular skeletons there now. I'm just going to go ahead and take, try to take them out. Although there's a wither skeleton right there. But we're going to go after him as well. Hopefully he doesn't come after us. Oh, this guy saw us though. Come on, buddy. Get wrecked. Oh, we have another wither skeleton up there. And there's one right below us. Hasn't seen us yet. Hopefully he won't. But we're going for this one now. All right, got that one. We'll go check to see if he dropped a head in a minute here. We got to take out all these other bad guys. They're just standing around. Thankfully, we went and made a whole bunch of arrows. Let's get that one. And I hear that gas. I don't see him. So hopefully it's going to be a little bit before I see him. There he is right there. All right. All right, let's go check for some skulls. Hopefully we might have a couple of wither skulls here. Love for at least one. Nope, nothing there. And... Nope, nothing there. Oh, well. Now this appears to be a rather small... Don't want to get knocked off into the lava again like I did once before. Come on, buddy, give me a blaze rod. Love to have a bla Oh, no, that's not good. Time to run, time to run, time to run. That little piggy got right in front of us. And they're all getting mad. Probably eat one of these pies here. This is not good. I'll be right back after I clean this up. 
All right, so as I was saying, we're here to check this out, and what is that? Oh, uh, that's something I can't do anything to. This is something surprisingly new. I guess that's why we need the spectral arrows. Just for that. I did not know about that, so that's something new. Spectral arrows for the ghost. Okay. Now we know we're going to have to start carrying those around with us. Well, I was taking a look over there as best I could, and the bounding box for that area, for that fortress, is actually rather large. So the fortress actually goes into that nether rack over there. It goes in there, and there's a spawner in there as well. A uh, blaze spawner is in there. Now, if only I can lose this ghost, I can go back in there and take a closer look and maybe even get a blaze rod. So I don't know how to get rid of this guy at the moment. Maybe he'll go away. Just leave me alone. I don't know if I can actually damage him. Will he come through it? No. Okay. All right, that's good. What is that? A soul bead. What do you do with a soul bead? Now that's questionable. All right, let me go back here and take a look at this bounding at this, uh, another fortress a little bit closer. Get a better look at that bounding box. See if we can't get a blaze rod. Maybe even a wither skeleton head. We can see a couple of go. Oh, blazes like crazy. Try to run past them for right now. As soon as I get to their side, I'll go ahead and eat some of this food so I can regain those hearts. All right, now let's take a closer look here. Holy cow, that's not good at all. Let's see what we can't do to get a blaze rod here. Stop flying up, dude. All right, there we go. We're able to take those two down. There's still that one way over there. Yeah, thanks. That was the perfect shot for him. All right, we're just got to get closer. I can't do that from here. But I can take a look at what these guys possibly dropped over here. Oh, he just despawned. Perfect. Good. Alright. Doesn't look like anything there. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like any of those guys dropped a blaze rod. This is where we did see with our skeletons. Unfortunately, it looks like they de- Nope, we got a blaze rod right there. I just gotta get to it. See how I can do that. I think I just get to it over here. I would like to get at least two of those. In order to start some potion brewing. All right, but we got at least one right now. Oh, there's that ghost again. I got rid of this guy. Oh, I did get rid of that guy. What the? Why am I hearing a cat? That's interesting. I'm not sure why I'm hearing a cat, but I'm just going to ignore that for right now. 
All right, we saw that blaze spawner right there. You see, it doesn't look like it's active right now. It looks like I'm too far away from it for it to be active. Wonder if I can't run up there and deactivate it. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Can we get it? Can we get it? It looks like we got it. Okay. Maybe not. All right, cool, cool, cool. Blaze rod? No blaze rod. Oh, but I just spawned another one. All right. Let's see what we can do. Come on, buddy. Give me what I need. Yes, all right. Got it. Two blaze rods. Let's go ahead and back off away from there before that goes off again. And as you can see, this, this bounding box is large. It's huge. It comes all the way down this way. This is nice. I love seeing this. I love seeing this. Just want to take a quick look around. Real quick. Glance all right. Because I want to see. See, this is going to be a perfect area to make our nice little wither skeleton spawner area. I mean, beautiful. This is going to be beautiful. I'm going to love it. All right, let me get back to base. And then we'll finish up this episode. So as you can see, I spruced up the base a little bit, put it in a different kind of floor other than that sandstone. Went ahead and did some work on our portal and put in the whole drawer system over here. I think I put in actually way too many drawers, but I don't know how many mods are here and what kind of things we're going to get. But I got that set up for now. I got to go ahead and make some keys to go along with it. So you can start locking the drawers and seeing what's in there. But I think that's going to do it for this episode. So this is, once again, our first time on a modded Minecraft server. We are coming to you from the Kerpowcraft Kingdom server. Where our kingdom is the fake Atlantis at the bottom of the ocean here. So till next time, folks. This is Tolbert saying we'll see you in the next episode.